everybody, we're back for a quick little video. I had a few things arrive today and I didn't want to bother filming an unboxing because I wanted to just enjoy the experience for myself. I am, um, sorry, let me get my what's left of coffee out of the way. It's probably really cold in one of my books I've been studying. Um, so I had this new little thing arrive today. Um, it's, as you can see, it is, this is field net size. So it's a little bit taller and a little bit wider. This is pocket ring size. So you can see it's a little bit taller and a little bit wider. And you'll see that this is a six size. And you'll see that they're practically the same size. Uh, this is an A6 cover from Brie at Documented Journey. And the reason I have it is because of, actually because of this book right here. Uh, this is a book that was given to me by our rabbi, Jewish Literacy, um, by Rabbi Joseph Tolushkin. Um, if you're looking for any information about um, uh, anything Hebrew, anything Jewish, anything Judaism, uh, rabbi Tolushkin has written many, many, many books, and this is just one of the books that I'm uh, partaking of this this year, this transition, you'll see it's quite a thick book. Um, so there's that. Um, but the reason that I ordered this from Brie, um, and it, I ordered it before the sale, she's ha so she's having a sale right now where she has some pre-made items that are um, all ready to ship. I ordered it late Friday, she shipped it Saturday, we had a fun art class on Sunday, and I got it today, Monday. So, um, but I got it because, um, as most people know, I love Tomoe River paper, but I really love the Midori and D paper, and I love this little A6 book, and I even use the A5s as well. Um, so, I've been keeping some stuff, and this is just a hodgepodge of... Uh, some notes. Um, this is kind of like my write it down, throw it away kind of notebook. And then I'm going to uh, put stuff in a more uh, codified system, I guess, in here. Um, but I, I love the little MD grid. I love the paper. It's kind of a creamy off-white color and and I love the grid it's it's different than most it doesn't go all the way up and and one reason is because of uh, this normally would be used for people writing hiragana katakana and kanji and so it, it makes sense to have it this way um, but I I love using the grid and I've used it in the past um, I have a little a6 notebook full of when I was doing some review and study of my Russian. I wrote monthly, you know, a month on two pages, and then I, like, had little trackers of what I was studying, and then I had, you know, like, for each month, like, my verbs and uh, grammar and new vocabulary and, and all of that stuff. And so I thought, since I loved it so much for that, I want to have just something... Um, even though all of everything I'm doing is online, um, you know, Zoom meetings and classes and, you know, everything is online now. Um, but when there is a time when we come back to being in person, I thought this would be wonderful to have. And I, I love Bree's notebooks. And I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying to go to all things non-leather and, um... And, and I, I like the the Hobonichi covers, but um, there's something about the the texture of the cork that I just, I don't know, I really love. Ooh, wouldn't that look pretty on there? I don't think she can get this one anymore. That's, it was a um, limited cork, but wouldn't that look pretty? So she has lots of different sizes, lots of different um, colors of cork. Some have pen loops, some don't. Some have front pockets, some don't. 
but you can see on the inside mine has the same color pocket and I have a beautiful um, passport this size yeah isn't that beautiful love it so this is going to be my Hebrew notebook um, oh and also the MD notebook arrived today and then I did have a couple of other things arrive today I decided I should get the 2021 weekly since I have the English Hobonichi which has the um, monthly view on two pages and then it has like the daily pages but the only thing that this doesn't have that the cousin the Hobonichi cousin has is the the weeklies and I think it's so funny I purchased this in 2018. I purchased this weekly in 2019. I even purchased it. I purchased two of them in 2019 actually and I even purchased one in 2021 and I haven't used them. Um, I've, I've tried, I've experimented with some things but I figured if this ends up being a system that I want to use, I, I tend to use the weeklies more for keeping track of uh, work schedule and to-dos and stuff like that, or even uh, a little timeline. And then I was thinking, then, you know, these could be little daily journaling pages or, I don't know, I have to figure out how I want to use this, but I, I decided I, I needed to have the option for that. So I ordered it from an Etsy store. And since I ordered it from an Etsy store, that meant, you know, I had to get a few other things in order to get free shipping. So I ordered, I think I put it in here. Uh, yes, I did. I ordered some washi samples. Um, I ordered some stickers. And these are like sticker sheets. And they're just different mushrooms, as you can see. The thing though is, they're, um, it's a sticker sheet. Uh, it's like, like, uh, how do I say? Like they're, they're not kiss cut. They're, um, it's like a, if I can get this to open. It's like a sheet of sticker. So I'm, I'm assuming, um, you cut out what you want. Um, I've never seen stickers like that before. But I think they're by the same artist, yeah they are, that did the washi. Um, and I also got, it's in here somewhere. Ah, my stencils. I also got the yellow Hobonichi stencil, which, here, let me set this aside. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum. Oh, uh, yesterday I participated in one of Bree's art uh, lessons, her online art lessons, and we were drawing some beautiful leaves. And so I even did another little smaller version up here. There's the sticker that came on her package. And it's, I think it's Bree's lessons is the, or uh, just documented.journey on Instagram. Um, and so this was my my attempt at a leaf in her style. And I haven't used watercolors on Tumblr River paper in years. And when I was using it, I was just doing plopping stuff like this. Nothing detailed. Um, just, you know, look, let's put some pretty blues and purples on pages. Um, nothing really, um, yeah. But let's, yeah, so I got my little MD notebook and there's Bree's little business card and her washi. Those stickers are from Lin Chia Ng. Ning, Ning. I'm gonna look, look her up because I, I love the mushrooms. Um, but this is what the washi looks like. And you know, you can, I just put a little bit of it out. So there's kind of like a blue-gray scale and then more of a earth tones 
Very, very, very pretty. And then this is what the stencil looks like. I always love writing out, where's the stencil? I always love drawing the stencil so you can kind of see what they look like. I've done that, I think, in the back of this book. Um, yeah, like right here, here's a, a stencil, and here's a stencil, and um, I know I have another one somewhere in here. I think it's earlier in the book. Yeah. <laughs> I think this is one that I got at um, Michael's. Actually, I think I have that stencil in here, actually. Yeah, I do. It's this one right here. Yeah, I love my stencils. I, I tend to forget I have them and don't use them that frequently. But, um, yeah. So there's my A5, which um, I started using this notebook in 2017. Towards the end of July of 2017. Um, here, let's bring this forward and use it as a little rest. So I started using it in 2017 and then went away from using it. That was when Allie Brown had a, um, uh, that's August of 2017, when she had a Patreon. Um, and then I did some swatching. And then I kind of set it aside. And then, like this I did in 2020, but there's a little journaling from 2018. I thought maybe I'll give the A5 a try again. And then bam, 2020. So I'd used like 40 some pages of it. And then I started using it early November of 2020. And since then, let's see, what page are we on? We're on page 101. And <laughs> I started back on page 48, like these I did recently to fill it in, same thing with those. So in just a few weeks I've used like 50 pages. <laughs> it's because I've been doodling and you know just just having fun with it. Um, I mean it's it's a it's not a very many page book, it's the Taroko Breeze. So it's got like 183 pages, 184, you know, nothing, you know, it's not like it's a 365 day um Stology or something like that. Um, so I'm just gonna use this until I use it up, and I'm just using it for everything. I'm doodling, I'm collaging, I'm putting in receipts, um, just using it for experimentation, gluing down leaves, because why not? It's fall. Um, and then I have my little cute little, let me get this out of the way. Uh, field note size, which um, I, I haven't decided on a planning system for next year. And it has, so that the notebook is by Brie, and the insert that I have inside it is by Brie. That's a mix of mixed media paper. I think it's Strathmore paper she uses. It's really nice paper. And then also this paper right here is Tomoe River. And I've just done some simple little sketches of just cartoony doodly things. Um, I've had this insert for years. Um, I think there's a, a page of swatches somewhere. But anyways, I can never... There they are. Um, some new um, inks that I got samples of from a good friend. Yeah, so I haven't decided how I'm gonna use this. Um, I could use it as a wallet, who knows. Um, I'm really enjoying my pocket rings. I'm loving the um, convenience of putting things in and out. Um, I'm also loving that there's 
very little wasted paper when I cut out the inserts. So I, I haven't really decided on a planning system for next year. Um, I, I don't think I'm going to be in a traveler's notebook next year. Um, I mean, who knows? That could change because, you know, who knows what next year is going to bring. But I, I'm not going to limit myself. Let's put it that way. If, if I want to be in um, like a pocket folio, if I want to be in a, a A6 Hobonichi, even if I want to do something like this A6 size, if I want to do pocket ring, if I want to do a traveler's notebook, I'm just going to kind of, you know, go with the roll. Um, and I think that's something that this year has taught me, 2020, is, you know, um, we're never... We try so much as a planning people to plan the outcome for everything. And um, this year has shown us that we truly are not in control of anything. Um, and you, it's, it's not so much as how you plan, but it's how can you adjust to what is being thrown at you, I guess? Um, you know, and so that's why I haven't really decided on a planning system. And, um, oh, I'm so sorry I bumped you. I've, you know, I've, I've used lots of different things this year. A6, standard rings, standard traveler's notebook. I've used a little bit of passport. I've used pocket rings. I've got some stuff in personal rings. And I think because of the type of year it was where I had less places to be and less, uh things that were work-related that were out of the house, so I could always have a something in transition, and so it worked well. So I'm just going to kind of see what what happens uh, next year. You know, what does more of this continue through to the next year? Um, and, and I'm just going to see. I mean, heck, A5 could make an appearance again. Um, you know, I make my own inserts. <laughs> you know, I've got some beautiful Midori MD paper that's blank. I could print my fun, lovely calendars on that and be incredibly content. Um, but keep checking back to see how I choose to use some of these things over the upcoming months. And, uh, if you like, please, um, click the like button or the, or the thumb down button, whatever you want to do. You do you, boo. Um, and subscribe if you want to see more of what I have planned for the remainder of this year and for the upcoming year. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.